what is the interceptor capabilities of the United States? How many nuclear missiles can be stopped? I was at a dinner party with a very informed person, right? Like somebody who really, you know, should have known this. And I, this is when I was considering writing and reporting this book. And he said to me, oh, Annie, that would never happen because of our powerful interceptor system, mm -hmm. okay? Well, he's wrong. Let me tell you about our powerful interceptor system. First of all, we have 44 interceptor missiles, total period, full stop. Let me repeat, 44, okay? Earlier, we were talking about Russia's 1,670 deployed nuclear weapons. How are they? How are those 44 interceptor missiles going to work, right? Um, and they also have a success rate of around 50%. So they work 50% of the time. There are 40 of them in Alaska, and there are four of them at Vandenberg Air Force Base in Santa Barbara, Okay. And they are responsible at about nine minutes into the scenario, right? After the ICBM has finished that five-minute boost phase we talked about, now it's in mid-course phase. And the ground radar systems have identified, yes, this is an incoming ICBM. Mm -hmm. And now the interceptor missiles have to launch, right? It's essentially shooting a missile with a missile. Inside the interceptor, which is just a big giant rocket, in its nose cone, it has what's called a the aptly named exoatmospheric kill vehicle. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's no explosives in that thing. It's literally just going to take out the warhead, ideally, with force. So one of them is going like you know, Mach 20 and the, I mean, the, the speeds at which these two moving objects hurtling through space are going is astonishing. And the fact that, that interception is even possible is really remarkable, but it's only possible 50% of the time. Is it possible that we only know about 44, but there could be a lot more? No, impossible. That I would be willing to bet. And how well tested are these interceptors? Well, th that's where we get the success rate that's around 50% because of the tests, right? And actually, the interceptor program is, are you ready for this? It's on strategic pause, right, right now. Meaning the interceptor missiles are there, but developing them and making them more effective is on strategic pause because they can't be made more effective, right? People have these fantasies that uh, we have a system like the Iron Dome, and they see this in, in current events, and they're like, oh, we, our interceptors would do that. It's just simply not true. Why Why can't an Iron Dome-like system be constructed for nuclear warheads? We have systems I write about called the THAAD system, which is ground-based, and then the Aegis system, which is on you know vessels. And these are great at shooting down some in you know some rockets, but they 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 can only shoot them sort of one at a time. You cannot shoot the mother load as it's coming in. Those are the smaller systems, right? The tactical nuclear weapons. And by the way, our THAAD systems are all deployed overseas, and our Aegis systems are all out at sea. And again, reporting that, I was like, wait, what? You know, you have to really hunker down. Are we sure about this? People really don't want to believe this. It's an actual fact. After 9-11, Congress considered putting, an, you know, Aegis missiles and maybe even THAAD systems along the West Coast of the United States to specifically deal with the threats against nuclear-armed North Korea, but it hasn't done so yet. And again, you have to ask yourself, wait a minute, this is insanity. You know, one nuclear weapon gets by any of these systems, and it's full-out nuclear warfare. So that's not the solution. More nuclear weapons is not the solution. I'm looking for a hopeful thing here about North Korea. Uh, how many deployed nuclear warheads does North Korea have? So does the current system, with the, as we described it, uh, the interceptors and so on, have a hope against the North Korean attack? The one that you yeah. mentioned people are worried about. So they, North Korea has 50, let's say 50 nuclear weapons right now. Some NGOs put it at more than 100. It's it's impossible to know because North Korea's nuclear weapons program has no transparency. They're the only nuclear-armed nation that doesn't 
announce when they do a ballistic missile test. Everyone else does. No one wants to start a nuclear war by accident, right? So if Russia's going to launch an ICBM, they tell us. If we're going to launch one, and I'm, I'm talking test runs here, you know, with a dummy warhead, we, we tell them, not North Korea. That's a fact, okay? So we're constantly up against the fear of North Korea. In the scenario, I have the incoming North Korean one megaton, you know, weapon coming in, and the interceptor system tries to shoot it down. So there, there's not enough time. And this, by the way, I ran through by all, you know, generals from the Pentagon who run these scenarios for no red, right? And confirmed all of this as fact. This is not, this is, this is, this is the situation, right? So in the scenario, I have the nuclear ICBM coming in, the interceptor missiles try to shoot down the warhead. The capability is, is not like what's called shoot, you know, and look. It, it, they can't, there's not enough time to go like, and we're going to try to get it. We missed it. Okay, let's go for another one. So you have to go, poo, 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 right? So mm -hmm. in my scenario, we fire off four which is about what I was told would one to four because you're worried about the next one that's going to come mm -hmm. in. You're going to use up 10% of your missile force, of your interceptor force on one, and all four miss. And that's totally plausible. 